have an ostomy bag, I'm fine having it on display. I was kind of proud of it because, you know, it saved my quality of life. It's really helped me. Hi, my name is Charlotte Twinley. I'm 21 years old. I have an ostomy bag because I was unable to eat any solid food. See, these jeans at the moment are quite, they're quite low, which some ostomates don't like, um, but I find them more comfy than high-waisted. My digestive system, so my colon and rectum, are dysfunctional and so no solid food would be digested properly. So I was on the liquid diet for over a year. I have these issues because of Erlos Danlos Syndrome. Erlos Danlos Syndrome, or BDS, is a connective tissue disorder and it can affect any, everyone in different ways and for me it affects my joints and my digestive system. Got the skin here and then it's the seal and then it's the bag and then your stone just poking the whole way through. When I was a young girl I'd eat all the time. I would have a breakfast space, a dinner space, a pudding space, an afternoon tea space. From around the age of 10, I started getting occasional stomach pain. I got my diagnosis in 2013 when I was 15 years old. I've tried lots and lots of different medications and every year I just had to keep upping the medication. I remember the thing that made me feel quite good was when I lost weight unintentionally. I soon started restricting what I was eating, which made my digestive issues worse. It eventually spiralled quite quickly. I was beyond skinny. I was a skeleton, <laughs> but my mind didn't see that. She insisted she was okay. It wasn't until she was severely underweight that the eating disorder unit people spoke to her. and I think it possibly started to sink in a little bit then. Physically she got all her weight back, but it took a long while for her in herself to actually accept that she needed to move forward. It was just like this heaviness in my lower stomach and I bloated so much. It's quite a sharp pain. I just wanted to just curl up on the sofa and just do nothing. I actually recommended to my mum that I had these nutritional supplement drinks. I would have between four to six nutritional drinks a day. You're just in between. You're, you know, you're not particularly hungry, you're not particularly full. I was on the liquid diet for just over a year. After about a year I forgot what hunger really felt like because my body just gotten so used to it. I'd go somewhere to eat, well I wasn't eating, but um, with my boyfriend and he was there sort of having a meal and I was just having a drink and I got a lot of stares from people wondering, you know, why isn't she eating? And that was quite difficult. I did become quite desperate for a solution. When I first um, started um, researching about um, getting a stone, I asked for all these information pamphlets from these companies and they sent me a a lot. <laughs> when she suggested surgery, that was the last thing, you know, we both wanted her to have done. But for Charlotte, you know, she didn't have a quality of life. She said, well, if nothing else, if I can just eat again and get some of my life back, then it will be worth it. The ostomy bag bypasses the problematic areas of my digestive system. I had my surgery in June and I was terrified of actually eating again. It was scary, I hadn't eaten for over a year, I had no idea what it would be like. First thing I tried was a vanilla pudding. And then these are the puddings I first ate when I first came out of surgery and they're the first sort of food <laughs> that I could actually have and I was fine with. Um, and yeah. It tasted so nice. It was still sweet, but it was another flavour. I've had an ostomy bag for about five months now. Avocados, I used to eat all the time, and I couldn't eat before because it used to upset my... <laughs> they didn't used to digest very well, and now they do, which is really good. Mm. 
Last year for my birthday, I didn't have a birthday meal or anything. Everyone else did, but I was just <laughs> having a drink. And this year for my birthday, I was able to eat with everyone. It felt weirdly normal. It was, it was really nice to be able to do that. I've eaten quite, quite a few things now. I think I'm trying to eat more. There are a lot of other foods and they can have which are really nice. With foods, I've got a happy relationship with it, finally. And my body again. <laughs> I'd love to I have pasta again. I used to love Italian food. I used to have pasta every single day when I was younger. After not having eaten for a year, I absolutely love food again. I took food for granted back then. I don't think I'll ever take it for granted anymore. That's really good. <laughs> really nice. After my surgery, it didn't take me too long to actually post a picture of me with my soma bag. My confidence just kind of skyrocketed. It's made me sort of love and appreciate my body. I used to see, you know, sort of, oh, that could change, that could change, this could be smaller, that could be a bit larger, that could change. And now I just, I just see me as I am.